about how much weight is on his shoulders, all the visitors, all the symbols, the taking of the scepter and all, and the imperial crown, it's all making him think, I'm going to have to take this on, I'm going to have to make my own mark, while at the same time it's taking, as we often say, with his personal grief, and that of his children, which he'll also be taking on his shoulders. And Laura, can, I mean, can you explain to us, once again, we see the Duke of York and the Duke of Sussex not in their military uniforms. We've seen that earlier in some of the processions, but then for the vigils, they did wear them. Yes, as a special exception, they are no longer full-time working royals, so no military uniforms for either of them. But we did see at both the vigil led by the king on Friday evening and then by the grandchildren on Saturday, both Duke of York and the Duke of Sussex were allowed to wear a military uniform for that moment. And it must, you imagine, have meant a lot to them to wear that uniform as they mounted the vigil around the Queen's coffin. But it's incredible. Just looking at the weather there, you can see it sparkling off the medals. How there is no sun here now. The clouds, the grey clouds are hanging over Windsor. I find it quite moving and striking almost that there is such a change in the weather at the end of this service. Uh, so Anthony, just a thought, given the size of the audience, we know how many billions of eyeballs would have been do we know been watching there were there were estimates but it certainly is in those kind of numbers how many I do not know but just how will this be viewed internationally are they looking at this and thinking well this is what Britain is or is it just that you know we do this ceremonial tremendously well and we are a uh, 21st outward looking modern society well, there's so much to, to like and admire aesthetically, isn't there? Uh, the uniforms, uh, the, the, the pageantry, the customs, even the Union flag is, is uh, attractive. On the Mall, there's pictures with the Union flag on either side. I often have been thinking, what, what will this audience of a billion, two billion, I don't know what it is, uh, actually think about it and they'll see a country that clearly has an immense reverence for history which is very unusual uh, in, in the world the monarchy uh, the longest uh, lasting uh, monarchy but they'll also think that there's a country with a new king who is known for modern views and his views on the environment were ahead of many politicians who views on a, an education that, that develops a whole child and well-being, mental health, all of it. As we see Her Majesty's coffin being torn off once again by the bearers before it is brought into Upper West Steps in St George's Chapel. Well, of course, we have had the privilege witnessing so many of these moving moments we do today from